you were speaking about Allah, can, can God do this, can God do that, is Allah able to do this? You know when we speak about God, the term able is very tricky term to use for God. But what we say, there is, the, uh, let me explain to you, we believe, listen so carefully, yeah. There, there is what God is and what God does. You with me? Oh yeah, the what, question you asked earlier, can yeah, you become a man? Yeah, yeah. What God is, like God is all-knowing. God is all-powerful. God has no beginning, no end, eternal. What God does, God does, he speaks. He spoke to Moses, but he didn't speak to me. He spoke to Prophet Muhammad in when he went to the heaven, but he didn't speak to, to, to the brother Hashim. So, God, he does whatever he wills. What God is, doesn't not change. You with me? Okay, so if we establish that, what God is, is perfect in his names and his attributes. Do you agree with that? All the times, correct? So when we go analyze the books which are being reviewed by God, okay, we can see which book is really from God and which one is not. For example, when you look in the Old Testament, he said God created the heavens and the earth in six days. In, day. in the seventh day, rested and refreshed. That is an exodus. Yeah. So I'm saying resting and refreshing is not the attribute of a perfect creator. Because if you look to the definition of resting, especially when you look to the context, basically he was doing work, then rested. But compare this, what Allah said in the Quran in Surah Qaf, the chapter of Qaf, Allah said in the Quran, he created the heavens and, and, and the earth in six days, and no fatigue overcame him. To show us that he's powerful, to show us that, don't even think that because God, God created the heavens and the earth, and look how powerful the heavens and the earth, Therefore, God became tired. No, no, not no fatigue overcame him. So God attributed Himself with the perfect. Likewise, you believe in Trinity, correct? You believe Jesus is God too, okay? God knows everything all the time, correct? He knows what happened in the past, what is taking place right now, what is taking place in the future, correct? But when you analyze if Jesus is God, if He's God, by default He has to know everything, correct? By default He has to know everything. Okay. But if when you read Mark 13, 32, Jesus clearly said, no one knows the day and the hour, no one knows the day and the hour, not even the angels in the heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. So Jesus here clearly negating the hour from himself, from the, from the, the Holy Spirit, he only affirmed it for who? For the Father, which we say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Jesus' statement, it goes in line with Allah's statement. Allah said in the Quran, O Muhammad, they ask you about the hour, say no one knows the meaning of the verse. No one knows it except Allah. What do you think of that? But in Jesus what did you go said so far anyway? But yeah, no, I, I totally agree. Except everything you agree? Saying. Yeah, I do. Okay. But I don't, I don't agree that it kind of disproves what I believe. But I, I think there's... Let us uh, I, I, elaborate. Yeah, I think there's a different understanding of so it. So you, you believe that God is omniscient or He's not? No, I believe He is. So, and the question, the same question with Jesus. Do you believe Jesus is omniscient or not? No, I believe that while while J Jesus uh, was here on earth, yes. he had all the limitations of a man. But the but you know what Paul says? In his flesh, he, he had the fullness of divinity. In Colossians 2 9, very clearly. So in his flesh, he had the fullness of God. How do you how do you actually reconcile that? No, but even that is contradiction. You know why? Because you just agreed with me when I said there's a difference between what God is and what God does. You said what God is does not change. No, no. So if I'm you not... say God limits Himself, therefore there's contradiction. The nature change from yeah. No, I agree with you. I agree ignorant. with the way you're laying it down. From laid it out exactly. Yeah, because I'm saying if God if God knows everything all the times, why then does you it, why doesn't He know the hour? Then you say He limits Himself. That's contradiction.